need to drop for my desired velocity, and I like 1,300 feet per second, because that's about the limit to where it'll cycle it on. Did a nice job there. Think cut up primer. Pan in here, we'll see. I've got a bunch of loads we're gonna be pattern testing, but these are the four that I've loaded so far. You'll see. Looks pretty good. Okay guys, so th what this is, this is from a company called Non-Toxic Components. This is an old company. They are long out of business and um, you can find these on eBay. This is the two and three quarter inch wad slitter. And what it is, when you open that up, what you see in there is this. This is a their wad slitter some people make these i've thought about trying to make them and figuring out if i could make them sell them whatever but uh it is a razor blade it is pretty sharp this one's been used pretty good but uh let me show you how this works we're going to take our pre-crimp station and i'm going to take it off Very simple. So I've got my pre-crimper off and I'll set it to the side. Now then, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. So we're gonna take a screwdriver. We're gonna take this off. This is just a screw, regular pan head screw. And I'm gonna put the screw and washer right here. I'm gonna go through here, just like that. I'm gonna take this washer, I'll push it up there like this. Now then, I will take the body of this wad slitter and the cutters, hold it up there, let that get just right there like that. Go ahead and put my bottle mount behind it just give that a little bit of a snug now then i've got a wad slitter 12 gauge 16 gauge whatever i've got that set up and i'll show you how that works the old pt 1680 16 gauge wads and you can buy the bp version at sunslip i've got some shells cut here I got a 12 gauge, which it came with right here. Somebody made that. And I got a 16 gauge, which I made out of a newer style 16 gauge Shaddai style shell. I'm gonna take this wad. There's the gas seal right there. I can figure out how this operates. Everything's backwards. Place that in there. I'll place this here. I'll lower this down, kind of center that. There it is. I have four pedals cut. My hand was not ever in any danger in any way. That's about a three quarter cut. If I wanted more cut than that, I could lower this down to two and three quarter inch and it would make that cut a little bit deeper. So once again, wad right in there, bring this down. Just that simple, just that quick. Search around on eBay, you can find some of these. They are just few and far between, but you will find them and they are super handy. And I've waited on either making my own wad slitter or any of the such. I've just used those shears. I've got them somewhere here, but I've used those wad snips that Ballistic Products had for years, but now I am slitting my own wads right there on the press. If I don't have anything to do. I'll come back here. I'll just start cutting up, you know, cutting petals on wads. And then when I come back here to load, I'm all ready to go. But anyhow, get you one of these tried out. Um, if you like this 
little quick short video uh give it a thumbs up uh subscribe you know, leave us a comment let us know let me know what are you using to cut to slit your wads if you're slitting your own wads what are you using to do that and why do you like yours so much because just because i have this doesn't mean it's the best it's the best for me for what i like to do but maybe you got some other way that i haven't thought about so anyhow leave us a comment let us know and uh we sure appreciate y'all watching thanks we'll see you next time